thought I would film this intro in black and white for dramatic effect. Did it work? I had the pleasure, the pleasure of filming today with three wonderful YouTube friends. Joss at Joss's Fragrance Mixology, Yulia at ScentSiblings.ca, and Richard Keycott at Richard Keycott. We had a blast. This is part three of our progressive sniffing party, and we're sniffing a Ducita Discovery set. So if you haven't seen part one and part two on Yulia and Richard's channel, go check out those first. I'm part three and Joss is part four. I'll link all of our videos down below. Have fun and let us know. Have you tried Ducita? Do you have any other fragrances? What do you think? Thanks for watching. And guess what? Speaking of Violet, which this isn't Violet. But <laughs> nice but segue. Violet, nice segue. Violet reminds me of Iris. And yep. the next fragrance is Splendiris. Mm. Name. <clears throat> I love Iris. Do so this. actually it was like, you know, there was some connection. That was a great segue. Okay, okay. Well, I always wanted to be on Much Music. I always wanted to be on The Family Feud. Oh my God! Can we all go on there together? I think we could be on because celebrity family. My freaking family, family doesn't speak the pickles, fragrance pickles. That'll be our name. All right, I'm doing it. But also, but also Jeopardy. Oh my God, I love. I'm it. too stupid for Jeopardy. I can't mess with that. Nah, lies. I love this. This reminds me of the second or third one we smelled. What was this? The rosy one? one? Uh, probably. Oh my God, it's gone already for me. You know who has me doing this, right? You know this motion. Oh, who does that? Lala. Oh, right. Oh my God, I it's love so her elegant. so much. She sprays and then she goes like this. Yes. <laughs> I love Hi, her. Lala. Yes. Oh, she's so supportive and wonderful. And you know, she's awesome. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with you, Lala. Me too. Yeah. God, we're such lovers. <laughs> We're just a bunch of lovers. There's so many amazing channels. It's like, oh my gosh. Yeah. So many amazing people. This, this is really interesting. Uh, ga, ga, ga. A fragrance uh, whose heart, in whose heart, let me try that again. Take two. A fragrance in whose heart the passion of the whole life, the whole life resides surrounded by infinite layers of iris tenderness. Wow. Mine is really disappearing though. It's so yeah, tender. I just had a it's so tender. It's, <laughs> it's, it's it is really beautiful. It's, it's just tender. tenderly it's too shy. It's very elegant. I like this better than the rose one, but it reminds me slightly of that too. Okay, so far these are my two favorites. The last one we just sniffed, and this one, although it is gone. But you know what? Maybe I'm gonna spray it on my skin. I don't see how that would change anything, but I love the the opening. They really have like gotten these openings and you know what in the opening i still get that green sort of juicy to dna thing that woody earthy greeny this one has more fruit than some of the other ones so this one has violet leaves carrot seeds fig leaf green mandarin italian orange calabrian bergamot violet orris grass rose jasmine sambach vanilla ambergris haitian vetiver and cedar and veronica said what the kitchen what <laughs> the kitchen sink honey it's a lot. <laughs> I mean, to have so many notes and be barely above a whisper is, I mean. <laughs> I just smell carrots. Tragic. You get carrots? carrots? I get carrots. I do want to keep smelling this one. It is beautiful. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's pretty. This one doesn't smell like anything anymore. And I've sprayed twice. Which one's from Iris? Yeah. Yeah, it disappears. Can you imagine? I mean, okay, so look. Some people uh, on YouTube in the fragrance world are like, I don't care about performance. They don't, they say, no, I don't care about performance. Um, they don't even talk about performance in videos because I guess it can be so specific, but you know what? I think it was Aaron Terrence Hughes said that like, and I also read it in a book that there's natural and then there's- Synthetic. Synthetics. Oh, I like so, this, do another one. Yeah, so what? <laughs> so in synthetics, like they actually smell the same on everybody. And naturals are the things that change according to chemistry on the skin, but not synthetics because they're not responding to chemistry because they're synthetic. 
But that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, it totally makes sense. When I heard, I was like, that makes sense. So, um, so, but then I'm saying like, so is performance really subjective to skin? If it's like synthetic products, it probably wouldn't be, you know? Um, anyhow, if I've made things confusing, just shoot No, me. that's so nice. helpful. I've never heard that. It's um, that. So I do judge fra- uh, performance because I want to smell my fragrance. So say I leave the house and I can't smell it anymore and I've sprayed my fragrance for the day, I've got the blues. What's the point, right? Yeah, I got the fragrance blues. I don't want them. For me, it's about money because I'm a little bit of a tightwad. And it's like, if it's expensive, I expect it to last. And if it's cheap, I don't care. Yeah, but I also don't think you're that much of a tightwad because <laughs> I feel like you're constantly spending money. <laughs> so. well, there's that. <laughs> but I think you're practical. It's practical. I mean, tightwad because- when it comes to fragrances that don't perform, there's a difference. Like you will put out Joss for a fragrance that you know smells great. And especially if it's from an indie house, you've said that. So you want to support them, right? Sure. But these other, yeah, these other $10,000 ounce bottles that go away in 10 seconds. No, thank you. Not okay with me. <laughs> Blend Iris is, is virtually gone from my skin. Oh, I think I'm going to do the next one on skin. Okay, so shall we move on to the next one? So that's, a, again, Immediately. Nobody, this, is, this isn't going on anyone's wish list. Uh, okay, like this is Le Pavilion Door, but uh, Yulia, do you want to say it? <laughs> I feel like you did that one justice for sure. Oh, okay. So then you don't want to say it. <laughs> <laughs> the answer to your question is no. What is the what is it? Pa- what is a pavillon? The pavillon. Pavilion. Pavilion. A pavilion, so a gold pavilion. Golden pavilion. Okay, got it. Wait, wait, I'm going with Bishop. Go. Okay. Oh no, it messed up. Okay, got it. Oh, I like this one. This is uh, the most masculine out of the bunch. This is fabulous. Okay. This this is Mr. Clean in the best way possible. I love this one. I'm sticking my nose in that bottle in perfume form. And I'm here for it. (laughs) Fig leaves, heliotrope, frankincense. There you go, Joss. Mm. And oak wood. Wow. Oh, sorry, it's something out of my nose. <laughs> but you know what? It's, I don't know. The openings are so, like, I don't deceptive. know. It's beguiling because I'm being. Because this is. They really are. The openings lure you in, and then the relationship is a disaster, you know? Yeah. Mm. I've spray some more of this already, but that opening is like, great, but I can't smell it. This is not so- aldehyde. It's gorgeous to me. And it's got orris root, mint, honeysuckle, fig leaf, mm. olibanum, thyme, baronia, heliotrope, oak, and sandalwood. I love the way this smells. I'm worried about it though. Do you see there, are you okay? It's like a bad romance. This one is so pretty, but it, it reminds me of some stuff I already have kind of. Like this is sort of my, one of my DNA types that I love. What would you call this, Joss? Well, I get amber. I know it's not a listed note, but like I get, I get the resins and the spiciness and I got that mint in the opening. I think I'm getting a lot of frankincense. It's really pretty. I'm going to put this on my skin. I know it will make a lick of difference. I think it does make some. Okay. I like, I just love the way this smells. Me too. I get woods, woods and frankincense, like you said. Oh my gosh. Oh, the opening, if you get like really into it, it's like, that's like a magical, look, oh, it's making my face go red. <laughs> I really lit up when I first smelled it on skin. It's fabulous. Um, it's boozy to me too. I get like a pure shot of like whiskey or something. Like, oh, maybe that's oak wood. Gin maybe? Mm. I just, oh my gosh, I'm getting all kinds of greenness on my skin as well. It almost reminds me like it, it could be from Lush. Like it almost, it's mm. like a Lush vibe to me. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. It's doing totally different things on the skin than on the paper. Yeah. It's, really. It seems unique enough where it might be worth getting for me. Oh girl, 30% off this weekend. I know. <laughs> <laughs> 
Like I've never seen Ducita on the sites. Have you? No. Mm -mm. No. So some things you gotta buy just at the places. Do. Yeah. I on the screen, this is crazy. It's wow. Mm. I love it. Mm. Okay. Wow. That one's like I've I've gone like to sleep in some way somewhere because I'm all hopped up on this fragrance. <laughs> That's a good one. So I, I think I would get this. I think I would too. It smells astringent to me on the dry down. So I'm going to say no to that, but beautiful opening. Yulia? It's not sweet enough for me. I do get the booziness that you're talking about, but mostly it's a green herbaceous sort of, but also frankincense-y. Yeah. I'm with you, Yulia. It's it's not it's not that it's masculine or feminine. It's that it's not sweet. I think it's unique, so, though. I think it's so green on the skin. Yeah. Really green. Really like that's good. continuing. And actually, this already has outperformed all of the other ones. Um, like so. It's sticking around. Yeah. But Joss cool. and I love green fragrances, don't we? Mm -hmm. Herba fresca. Can you see this layer with green lover? Oh yeah. Green lover. Yeah, to like soften up, soften, soften up those like Ooh. really sharp edges on it. Yeah, layered together would be really pretty. That might be fun. Mm. It's really yeah. nice though, you guys. It is really nice. Yeah. It's performing. That's, That's like my favorite. Okay, we're at the second last one. Okay, this one is called Moonlight. <laughs> Do you want me to say that one? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Whoa. Would you please? Did you say moonlight? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't have a moonlight. You don't? Uh, moonlight in Chiang Mai? I've got... Oh my God, somebody... Oh my, I'm, I'm about to swear and also say kill me once again. Of course, it's called Moonlight in Chiang Mai. It's their most famous fragrance. What's wrong with me? <laughs> Nothing. It's really, really tiny and we're really, really old with bad eyes. That's all. I don't know why they changed. They made it so small underneath the moonlight. <laughs> Where Nothing can I about have seen that? Where can I make a complaint? <laughs> <laughs> Where people will listen right here. That's it. <laughs> the, two, the two that I have left are Oud and Finney. And Le Siage Blanc. You don't oh have a God. moonlight? I don't. Moonlight oh, is in the great no market. Moonlight in Chiang Mai. Okay. But go ahead. And the last one is. You guys all have moonlight. Go ahead. The I last have. One is Cavatina. Oh my God. We have different sets. Have my different last sets. one is Cavatina. Same. Mine is Cavatina. Listen, this is wild. I told you, Lucky sent, sent me. Did I order the wrong set? No. no, Joss, Oud Infini is on the little thing, but we all got different, oh, weird. a couple of different ones in the actual set for some reason. I have Le Siege Blanc and Oud Infini. Yeah, Le Siege Blanc is on here too. But so, Moon is on my little list. Did I just misplace it here? Who has Moonlight in Chiang Mai? Okay. And then who, who has Cavatina? This is crazy. I'm upset. Oh no, don't worry about it. It's no big no, deal. Th this video ends here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, keep going. So which one? So you guys don't have Oud Infini or Alicia? No, and I want those. Okay, so let's do this. Joss, why don't you uh, give us your first impressions of Oud Infini? And then we'll do one that we have and then we'll do you and us. You guys don't have Oud. Right, very good. Oh, leader leader. Us, okay. I'm gonna do it on skin. Ooh, got my, it got in my eye. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that's strong. I love a good eye spray. Okay, this is a little bit animalic. Um, at least at the opening, let me see what the notes are. Yep, it's animalic, musky, and the notes are Laotian oud, rose de mai, Tunisian orange blossom, benzoin, sandalwood, civet, musk, and vanilla. Oh, the opening is so animalic. Why did I spray this? Skin? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't think I, I don't know. Maybe we'll see. Maybe the dry down will be. While you guys do the next one, oh we'll look. We'll oh, no. Down. It's a stinker. It's a stinker. 
Okay, Moonlight and Chiang Mai. This, I've heard several people mention this. And by several, I guess I just mean one, Terra from Olfactophiles. <laughs> she counts as several people with all her experience and wisdom. Okay, I love this. I love <laughs> this. I don't have any more skin. But it's... <laughs> This There's is, always more skin, Yulia. I have a knee. I'll put it on my Joss, knee. I think you would like this, Joss. Shoot. Shit. Because Shit. it's, um, <laughs> you know that fruitiness we sometimes like, Joss? <gasps> I know you like it too. Oh, yeah. I love the fruits. Yeah. Th this has got like a, a, a fruitiness that's really pleasant. Really oh, it's sweet. got nutmeg. So it's got yuzu, jasmine, nutmeg, benzoin, teakwood, vetiver, myrrh, and patchouli. Wow. Oh, it totally has yuzu. Yeah, this it, it's is a, that this yuzu. I actually sometimes I hate nutmeg, but like this is this is amazing. Favorite. Yeah. Um, considering purchasing right now, just like that, and I don't like fruit. Pineapple. Just, hey, is anybody else just getting pineapple? Pineapple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pineapple. Getting like an escada summer fruity oh, really? thing going on. Yeah. Oh, I like it. It's a little bit more it. base. It has what, Richard? Adi, adi, adi. Adi, adi. <laughs> it's like escada with body, adi, adi. I'm, this is a pure pineapple now. It's moved into a straight up pineapple. Yep. Oh, Joss, this smells like pine. You could layer this with one of your beautiful coconut body things. And you would smell, this is pina colada minus the coconut. Mm. Which but I, for rich people. Yeah, you can tell that this is a bit more sophisticated than, um, you know, there's, you know, there's some thoughtfulness in the- I'm sure I'd like it if you all three like it. Are you getting leather way, 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 way under there? Yeah. Yeah. Especially since you said it, you know how there's that power of suggestion? I can't unsmell it now. Yes. Yeah. First one that's had patchouli, I think that I've noticed. I think. Oh, does it? And it's gone. Yeah, you know what? This one's short lived. Oh. Sorry. Wait, did you smell yours? The oud infini? How is it? Poo yeah, infini. Like it's so poo -poo. That's the one you spray on your skin. Oh, poopy. Oh, no. But is it sweet poo poo? Man, that's no. What, that's what we want to know. <laughs> Dutella. Dude. Dude. <laughs> Dutella. Um, this is gone. Gonzo Alonzo gone. Don't smell it at all on my skin. God. This place is a racket. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the little description. The fragrances, serene energy, and air of exotic seductiveness float around the wearer like a gentle nocturnal breeze that blends with the diffused moonlight. Holy words. You know what people have compared this to on Fragrantica? Menage the Exotic? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Good guess. Oh, God. Tell us. No, the most popular perfume, the most talked about perfume. Aventus Creed, Aventus. eh? Next, next. No? It's not Aventus Creed? PR 540. No. <laughs> People are crazy. That's cuckoo. Ah! Well, see, now I smell it. Uh -huh. No. See what happened? I don't Let's smell it. Suggest it. No, I'm like, yeah, I could see that in the dry down. Yeah, BR 540 and then the x and then Pasta Soir from BDK. That's yeah, so weird. Yeah, now because... I'm getting some hints of like that airiness that comes with BR 540. This is a, a literal dupe for Menagesty Exotic, okay? <laughs> Hilarious. That's what it is. You need that. Is Yulia, what you're Joss, did you send Yulia Menagesty Exotic? I don't you think you might I have can. this, Yulia. No, you didn't? Okay. But I can. Backspace delete. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm over here smelling my knee. I'm not filleting myself. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't? You wouldn't? Everyone's going to hate us. <laughs> Anyhow, this. Okay, wait, wait, wait. You know what? I get a whisper of BR540, but you have to remove the pineapple, which isn't in here. Uh, so the yuzu, I guess. You've got to remove the fruitiness. I don't get any fruitiness out of BR540. So then I no. would say that that leather thing 
could be saffron, which is also heavy in BR540, but also I would say that the, uh, what's the bottom, the ambergris? In Baccarat Rouge 540, I don't, I don't get ambergris in this, but I do get saffron, which isn't listed, hey? Hmm. No, this, uh, I could see that. This one has teakwood, vetiver, myrrh, and patchouli in the base. Maybe it's I love it. If this lasted longer, this is a, the thing is, when would I ever, ever, ever wear this? Where would, to wear would you wear this to? Cold Pompeii? summer nights. Cold summer nights. Cold summer nights? <laughs> what <are> you... <laughs> Cold Everywhere. Summer... Yeah. I mean, yeah, no. Yeah, no. Oh this my gosh. My good arm. This is my good arm. This is my bad. Which one, what's, what's on your good arm, Joss? Um, <laughs> that looks so <sensitive. laughs> bad arm. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it gets better, but it doesn't. <laughs> um, the good arm was the previous one, which was. Uh... Oh, Le Pavilion Door. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Joss, do you want to do your, your next fragrance that is different from ours? Sure, I'll do Le Siage Blanc. And. While you're spraying that, sorry, is anyone buying this one? No. No. 